Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Gemini for September 2009. And this also applies if you have a Gemini ascendant. So Geminis, this month for you, let's start with Mars. It's in the second house. So you're going to be putting a lot of energy into earning money, into maybe creating new ways of earning more money. But you're certainly going to be putting a lot of energy and thought into how you can create more finances in your life. And you've got such quick thinking anyway, Gemini, this should be a really good time to put more energy into that area of your life. You're also probably going to be looking at your values. What's important to you? You might, in fact, be changing some of your priorities in your life because you'll find that some of your values may have changed. So take your time and make sure you really reassess what really is important from here on in. Because I think many of you will find that some things have really changed and you need to, to completely reassess your life. Now we've got Venus in the third house until about the 20th of the month and this means it's a great time for studying, for enjoying learning and of course Gemini you love learning. So I think there's going to be some new and interesting things coming in and as well with Venus being in Leo you're probably going to share with other people. Many of you will be teaching anyway, but sharing and teaching all this new information that you're learning. So really good time for studying and learning. And of course, Gemini, you're going to love this. Some short trips in your neighbourhood, interacting with friends and people nearby. That looks like that's going to be quite a lot of fun. We've got a lot going on this month in your fourth house quite a few planets there. So Gemini, there will be an inward focus for you as well. You're going to be looking at your home. You're going to be wanting to spend more time at home and also maybe have a little more private time, a little more quiet time to balance all that energy that's out there a lot of the time for you. You may find that many of you have been doing renovations in your home, upgrading your home. Some of you, I'm afraid, with sat in there may have found you've had to spend a lot of money or unexpectedly more money than you anticipated on your home. For those of you that are thinking of moving, well, this might not be quite the best month to be doing that, but if you are moving, then just make sure you've got extra money, extra buffer funds, because things may actually start to turn out more expensive than you may anticipate. We've got the sun in that fourth house of home as well, so really good time to shine a light on anything to do with the affairs of your home and your family and to take that solitude, quiet time out because you will find that you will want that too, Gemini. And then after about the 23rd of the month, then you'll find your energy coming out again. The sun into your fifth house, that's very creative. For those of you who are entrepreneurs, great time to really start your own business or to promote that business in new and creative ways. For those of you that are looking for a romance or a love affair, well, towards the end of the month, this well could be your moment. And also, if you are in a marriage or a happy relationship, good time to bring some romance and some excitement into that relationship. But generally a very creative time for you. We've got Pluto still in that eighth house. You do need to take care of finances and any kinds of investments or pensions that you have. And you've got to keep a constant eye on those issues in your life. I have to alert you to the fact that Mercury, your ruler, goes retrograde on the 7th of September. What does this mean? Many of you will know, but don't sign any leases. Don't sign any legal documents unless you can possibly help it. Don't enter into any new business agreements. Don't launch any big projects while Mercury is retrograde. And that's from the 7th to the end of the month. So if you can get all of that paperwork and all of those legal documents done beforehand so that when you go into the Mercury retrograde, you can relax, you can read, you can research, you can do things that are more reflective so that you're not having to actively use the mental uh, patterns where they can often get confused and communication gets a little bit crossed wires sometimes during Mercury retrograde. It's time for you to reflect and also to complete on projects and things that maybe you've wanted to complete for a while. This is a great time when Mercury goes retrograde. I remind you, 
back up your hard drive and also don't spend a lot of money. The maximum is $15 on any item during Mercury retrograde, otherwise when it comes out of the retrograde you'll be a bit disappointed. So there you have it Gemini, a lot of changeable things this month but make sure you take some time out to be at home and to be peaceful. I wish you a great month and thank you for listening.